Breaking news, Nigerians. Protesters stormed the European Union office in Abuja, demand redrawal of reports on the 2023 elections. My country people, this is interesting. As they be like this, so hundreds of protesters now so they march go the EU office for Abuja. They toss say lie lie. That reports where the European Union toss say well. It was a review of the 2023 elections. Say Nalayo, say all those their reports, everything where they don't observe, say na lie. How can they come and say that uh, the elections was mad with violence? How can they say that the results were manipulated? Come on, that is not true. They even made it known that there is nowhere in the world that there is no crisis during election. Every country has its own crisis during election. It is a normal something. So these protesters now, they have stormed the European Union office in Abuja, demanding the redrawal of the reports on the 2023 elections. When I know say, when this uh, European Union, when they drop their reports, now so Femi Fanika, you they shout to, he begin para say, lie, lie, why they go they talk this kind of thing? Why would they say that uh, the election was rigged? Why would they say that INEC did not try? I mean, are they trying to spoil Tinibu's image? Now, so Femi Fanika, you did talk, oh, even uh, Festus Keamon still follow talk oh, for the matter. Say, well, they are just parading fake news. All those things that they are talking, it's fake news. So, my country people, the APC chieftains, they talk, say, the EU now, they want to tarnish the image of a uh, Ashuweju Bolad Metinibu by saying all these things that all their talk are just very, very biased. So, as they be like this, so these protesters they don't continue from where these APC chieftains talk reach. So, say they come to say, well, they have to carry this matter on their head now. So, they stage, they, they, they stage a protest, you know, at the European Union office in Abuja. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Hundreds of protesters on Thursday afternoon marched to the European Union office in Abuja to register their grievances over the last week report released on the 2023 general elections in Nigeria. The European Union report uh, mission in its report had pointed out uh, everything that they noticed during the elections and how it severely damaged the public confidence in the electoral body INEC. But uh, Ashwaju Bola and Metinibu led presidency insisted that the yardstick and the assessment of the EU mission cannot determine the credibility and the transparency of the country's election. However, the protesters who besieged the EU's office in their numbers described the report as ridiculous. They said the report was capable of creating chaos, of creating tension, panic in this country, and it will put the country's unity and security at stake. So speaking on behalf of the protesters, Lilian Ogole said that nowhere in the world that election is devoid of crisis and hitches. She said, We've come to register our grievances that we are not satisfied with the report of the European Union. In fact, as a matter of fact, we have the option that uh, the report is not just ridiculous, but a, a deliberate act to slight the Nigerian uh, entry entity. And of course, by implication, um, our leaders and the government of Nigeria, we are all Nigerians here. And I would like to say to you very clearly that Nowhere election in the world that is devoid of crisis and hitches. Every election comes with its peculiar problems, and Nigeria is not an exception. So today would not be, or the 2023 general elections won't be the first time that uh, we've been experiencing this kind of thing in this country. And if you check, if you go around the world, it's almost the same thing. During election period, there's always crisis. There's always tension, panic, chaos here and there. But they should not come and start pointing fingers, making Tinibu look like, oh, he's not the one that won the election. Well, they said we are aware well that the world is a global village. Therefore, people from different parts of the world converge in various countries. 
during elections to monitor, to observe, and to make presentations like the EU has done. But we found unnecessarily what we found not worthy is in the manner in which the report was made. They called on the European Union to urgently redraw the report and to come up with another report to, that will be favorable to Nigeria. My country people, when I see matter where they ground, these guys there, I don't know what is going on. Is it that these protesters, they are not in this country? Or they don't know what transpired? Or is it that they have been paid to come out and stage a protest? Because we know that there is only one set of people in this country that will come out and make this kind of statements against the European Union and their reports. You know that the camp of the All Progressive Congress, they have been kicking against the EU's reports ever since the report came out. They have been kicking against it, saying, oh, they want to destroy the image of Tinibu. They want to say that uh, the, the election that INEC conducted was not credible. You know, but then the opposition, they've all kept quiet too. Hey, hey. But then it is only the All Progressive Congress that, you know, have been feeling very threatened by the report of the European Union. This was their report. So they came to Nigeria. They made observations. It's not as if they were in their country making observations. They came to this country, made their observations, and finally they dropped a report. So how are these protesters saying that, all they are saying was a lie and they should redraw their report. How can they redraw their report, my country people? What is going on here? Is this how some people have become so jobless in this country that they don't know what to do than to go out and stage a protest at the European Union's office in Abuja demanding that they should redraw the, the statement they made? How does it affect them in any way? How does it concern them? Eh? Now, what are my country people? We get so many jobless, hungry, you know, people for this country that they can do anything for money, even to the extent of carrying power cards and protesting. This is really serious now. I mean, it is to, this, is, this will show how jobless people really are in this country. Because, come on, how can a person that is well aware that these elections was mad with violence and everything that the EU had said was true, how would they say that it is not true? Well, personally, I think all these people, all these protesters were paid. They were sponsored by someone to come out and protest. Yes, because I know ordinary sane Nigeria, ordinary sane Nigerian, a responsible Nigerian would not come out and make this kind of protest. So my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts concerning this? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.